Have you wanted to redesign your Power BI report mobile view to make it easier to view on the web and on the go, but you don't want to spend all of that time going through every single page of your report and laying out every visual? Well, my name is Allison Gonzalez. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, and I'm going to show you a new feature in Power BI that makes it incredibly quick, almost instantaneous, to make your mobile view for Power BI reports. Before we get to the video, I just want to let you know, if you are interested in more in-depth Power BI training, head on over to prag.work slash Allison40, and that's going to give you 40% off an annual subscription to our on-demand learning platform, where you have access to hundreds of different classes. Now onto the video. In the March 2024 Power BI update, we now have an auto create option for our mobile view. It is in preview features, so to enable it, of course, we're going to go to our options. So file, options and settings, and options might look a little bit different if you have your home view enabled. And we're going to go down to our preview features. And in our preview features, there is an auto create mobile layout option right here, which I didn't even have to scroll for mine. It's right at the bottom, but if you don't see it on your screen, scroll a little bit. It is towards the bottom there. You will need to click and hit okay, and then restart Power BI for this to take effect. So if you need to do that, go ahead, pause this video, do that quick restart of Power BI, and then come right back. Once that is enabled, when you are on the page of the report that you want to create a mobile layout for, all you need to do is go to your view ribbon and here on your view ribbon, you're going to go to that regular mobile layout spot. And for your mobile layout, we now have that auto create option. It is also right here on the little drawing of that cell phone that we see on the middle of the page. Before, right, we had to individually drag every single visual over, put it to the size, put it in the position, everything exactly the way we wanted. Now we have auto create. So with auto create, it will put all of the items in the order that it thinks it should go into. The great thing though, is this is really a starting point. So it might get it a hundred percent, right? Other times you might be like, you know what? I need to resize this. I cannot see all of my tech. So I need to kind of rearrange things. Maybe I don't want to have, you know, my slicer option available to it here on the mobile view. So of course I can take that off and it goes right back there into the visual section. So I can bring it back if I do want it. Right. But now with this auto create option, it makes it so much easier, so much less tedious, right? To make these mobile layouts. So if you are using the power BI app, you're viewing these reports on the go. You don't like having to rotate your screen around to see that or zooming in constantly and just kind of it not being a great experience. With this auto create, it makes it so much easier. Just remember it is currently in preview features. Who knows how long it's going to stay there, but for now it's in preview features. So if you don't see that option automatically enabled for you, go check your preview features to click and turn that on. Then once you have that turned on, you can go through and lay out all of your pages in a blank. Of course, if I want to rearrange things, reorganize that, this again is just a starting point. So I can move things around however I'd like, but it works so much faster to be able to bring these items over all at once in really kind of the same order that they were in, right? So I don't have to go through and redo that. It knows immediately what the regular standard page layout looks like. And then it knows, you know, what that mobile layout looks like. And I can switch back. You can see everything is still there, still working great on my regular layout. Switch back over to mobile. And I've got that mobile layout that I can play around with and change and reorganize all of those great things. You can see if I click on whatever visual in that mobile layout, I have all of those visualization options in that visual pane over on the right side of the page. 
here next to auto create i do have some settings in here so in my settings i can filter all of the visible ones as well as all of the hidden ones so if you do have a page with a lot of visuals you're kind of all back and forth on everything you can go um, kind of around just to see the visible ones see if there are any hidden ones right we don't have any hidden ones on this page but i would be easily able to sort that right so if we have bookmarks on a page we have a lot of different things that we might have hidden that kind of need things to go and play right you're clicking a button that's your bookmark things are popping up things are showing and you don't want that on mobile you can easily go through and just hey you know what i only want to see the visible ones i'm only going to bring the visible ones over um, and you can make sure that that everything is working and makes sense and looks great on that mobile view and it makes it so much easier of a process so that is the mobile layout, the auto create option that is now available for us in the Power BI desktop. If you go to try it, let me know in a comment below. And of course, definitely subscribe to our channel so that way you will see all of the videos that we put out here on the Pragmatic Works channel putting out multiple videos every single week, all about content on the Power platform. And we hope that you will join us here.